Today we're going to talk about my five favorite fish in the fish room. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel, fin lovers. It's Mr. B. Today I'm going to answer a question I get asked at fish clubs. What are the favorite fish in my fish room? Today I'm going to give you the top five. No scientific mumbo jumbo, just video of the fish and me telling you why they're my favorites. Stay tuned for number five. Okay, fin lovers, number five is the Malini Cory, also known as the False Bandit. As we know, I am a big fan of Cory Doris in general, and the Malini Cory is just a very, very uh, different looking Cory. Uh, it's called the False Bandit Cory because it has certain appearances to the Matei Cory or what is the actual bandit quarry. Uh, but the false bandit quarry here, um, the markings from the dorsal fin to the peduncle are different than they are in the mate. I think this particular quarry is cool looking because with the uh, little mask over its eyes, it looks like it's a bandit. It's got a very nice shape to it. It's a very, very Gregorious uh, quarry. They're usually swimming all over the tank, especially when there's food. Large collection of them over here. They just hang out. A lot of times they get shy when you put the camera on them. But they're just so nice to see the bottom of the tank when they start getting going. So that's number five. The Malini Cory. Number four is the pea puffer. Once I brought these into the fish room, I told my wife we will always have puffers in the fish room. These little guys have so much personality. When they recognize you coming to the tank, they all swim up. They're expecting to see some food drop in here. What I feed these little guys are blood worms, freshly hatched baby brine shrimp, and they get snails. These guys are, again, like the Malini Cory, very gregarious. It's, it's really not like having a traditional fish because they actually are meeting me at the glass here, as you can see. They're not shy. They're coming right in. And their little faces, I, I don't know how to explain it, but they're, they're kind of like water puppies to me almost. They're adorable. More importantly, Mrs. B is a big fan. Okay. Number three, another quarry, the Black Schultze. I just think these are stunning in their appearance. And as you can see, I have adults and young fry and some juveniles in here. So they're not an especially hard quarry to breed. Through here, as we can see, they're little tank set up here. This is a 20 gallon long. They are very stunning just when you look at it because of their extremely, they're more, more of a dark brown than a black in my estimation, but it doesn't do anything to my opinion of them. They've got the nice dark body the almost reddish fins and again just another stunning quarry to have in your aquarium
Number two on my list is the L181 Peppermint Pleco. I have had these guys for approximately six months and they have given me uh, three spawns. This is one of the juveniles. There's another one right up here on the heater. One of the latest batches is right down here. Another one of their siblings right there. Moms, I should say mom and dads are in their caves right now. They were out when I started shooting, so maybe they'll come back. So we can see they love hanging out in the chola wood. These are more youngsters. And there's more in this over here. I just saw some action. Again, sometimes filming, there is one right there. Sometimes filming plecos during the day with the lights on is a little tricky. There's another one of the younger fry right there. But I really enjoy having these in my fish room. These are an ancestress, so they are in the same family as bristlenose. But interestingly enough, they do not give you as many eggs or as many fry as, let's say, a green dragon or a super red or just a simple blue eye lemon, which can give you 150 eggs. These, I think I've tapped out at around 35 eggs. They don't all make it to this size, unfortunately. There we can see that's the dad's tail right there. So, again, this is number two. And just as some other honorable mention, these are hyphen paleotis. So, also known as salt and pepper, but the dorsal fin on these are just incredible. So this would be my honorable mention on this list. My number one, if you've been following my channel, is the Pseudomagill Gertrude Aru 2. These are also known commonly as blue eye rainbow fish. And I think they're just, just a very underappreciated, stunning fish. Especially when you have multiple males within the aquarium that are showing off for the females. Unfortunately, in this tank, I only have a trio. But this trio will be being moved to another tank that is going to have some of their offspring in it. Uh, luckily, there is at least one male included in that offspring. Where did he go? There, there, that's a female there, I believe. But basically, when the males are sparring to try to get the female's attention, it is an incredible display. And I hope to be able to bring that to you in the not-too-distant future. But for right now... That is my favorite fish in the fish room. Pseudomagill Gertrude Aru 2. Okay, fin lovers, there you have it. A very short and sweet look at the top five fish in my fish room. That's my opinion. I'd like to know what the top fish in your aquariums are. So just simply put down in the comments your fish. Let's get a conversation started, and then, as always, you're going to need a bigger tank.